Here we have something we think is pretty special. It's a 2000 model Mercedes-Benz SL320. And it's the last of the series. They came out in 1989, the very, very early ones, and were only available in a 500 or a 600. The update came with a number of features, including a five-speed transmission, soft leather seats, a new steering wheel and mirrors, along with many other features. The car's done 107,000 kilometres, and it has what I would call a perfect service history. By perfect, what I'm saying is that every single service has been done at a Mercedes-Benz dealership up to date. The hood lining is in excellent condition. It's probably one of the only things really you need to look at at any SL W129. It's got the, the grey interiors. You can see light grey leather seats. It's got wood grain on the door trims. All the timber is in excellent condition. It, it doesn't look like a car which has been parked outside with the roof off. It's got an electric roll bar as well which comes up automatically or you can put it up yourself. The electric seats all work perfectly and the colour combination is absolutely stunning. I myself own a 500 SL from 1991 and I can say that it's easily one of the best cars I've ever owned and I actually can't see myself parting with it. The update had much nicer looking alloy wheels, colour coded bumpers, it didn't have the two tone from, um, from top to bottom here, and it just looks a lot better. It's got the much newer looking lights as well, the older models had the sort of 80s looking lights which had all the lines through it. The 320 has plenty of power, um, especially with the 5 speed transmission. The electric roof works perfectly and it has a nice clear plastic back window. I say that because sometimes the plastic on that back window can go a bit off. I'll just get the key. Here it is. So it's got a wind deflector as well, a CD stacker, these are the mats from the front. I believe it's got a full size spare. Oh no, it's actually, this being the newer model, it's actually got the, it does have an alloy wheel, but it's different to what's on the car. The car comes with these number plates, which suit the car very well. It's very straight down the sides, as you can see. I think in terms of value for money, they're very good. This car would have been nearly $200,000 when it was new. And we're starting to see older models with nearly 300,000 kilometres. Even things like these slides are in good condition. Often over time people throw them back and break them and things. But it's very, very good. This car also came with traction control. The roof is in very good condition. If you're looking at other SLs, you should look at the condition of the roof down the bottom here. Because from taking it on and off, they can be dropped. Um, or sometimes if, live, if they live near the beach they can get a bit of corrosion around the bottom there. But it's just one of those cars I can't stop looking at, it's just beautiful. And like I say with my car, every time I drive it, for me it really is an event. It's just such a pleasure to drive. And some, sometimes a trip to the shops can end up being a drive up to Palm Beach. But the body is very good, sometimes with these low kilometre Mercedes-Benz, if they're from the Paddington or the inner city, eastern suburbs, they're just driven to the shops and back, and that's where, unfortunately, a lot of the damage occurs, from little parking dents and things. We haven't detailed the engine, but as you can see, it's very good. It doesn't... Another good thing about the 320, as you can see, the lining is in good condition, which is very rare, is that it doesn't have ABC, Automatic Body Control, self-leveling, adjustable suspension. It was probably one of the only things on these which did cause some problems. It's got two remote keys to it as well. We'll have a look at the logbook. I think we've put it in the back, in the 
it back here. Ah, uh, that'll be right, it's on the other side. Just put these back nice and gently. Again, sometimes people throw the seats back and they can get damage. The alloy wheels are in very good condition. I have driven it and it does drive very, very well. I'm going to show this logbook because I think it needs to be seen really to be believed how good the history is. So here's the book here. I'm not going to put it on the Juco, I'm just going to put it on the seat. Put it back nice and gently. Okay, services. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so the last service at 104,000 kilometres was done at G Brothers Mercedes-Benz. The service before was done at G Brothers Mercedes-Benz at what looks like 99,000 kilometres. The one before was done at G Brothers. And the one before that, it just goes right through, if you can see it, so I'll adjust the, uh, the book. G Brothers again. G Brothers right through there. And uh, the first couple of services at Mercedes-Benz of Sydney. Now that is what I call a perfect service history. You can't get much better than that. Not only has it been serviced by Mercedes-Benz, but it looks like it's also been serviced on time every time. So if you're looking for what we think is one of the best examples of a W129 Mercedes-Benz, be it a SL320, 500, 280, whatever it may be, we think you should definitely come and have a look at this car. Take it for a drive, any inspection welcome. We are very, very proud to offer you a car off you this car here at the Old Timer Centre in Marrickville. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to hearing from you.